Hello, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick update this time on how I made the sheet metal components, the tabs, the connectors, that sort of thing, for the tilting mechanism on my recumbent Velomobile project. These are the bits you can see in the film here. Just a quick reminder as to what I'm trying to achieve in the overall project. This is a crude CAD model showing the reverse tilting recumbent trike. For the tilting mechanism I chose to use oilite bushes which are these tubular shaped things here. These are much cheaper and lighter than ball bearings and probably just as good in this application. So these slot into the tabs and I've epoxied them in place using standard araldite glue. This is just me mixing up the glue and applying the glue to the outside of the oil light bushes before I slip them into place in the tabs on the body of the trike. This shows the tabs glued into place. I used a steel bar to ensure that they were correctly aligned while the glue set. Now onto the sheet metal components. These are card templates that I've drawn out accurately and I'm transferring the profile of these components onto a piece of one and a half mil sheet steel. So I'm just accurately marking out the positions of the bolt holes using a punch uh, and I'm using a sharpie to mark it out on the steel. This shows all the sheet metal components finally marked out, and there are the templates. I use my Black & Decker jigsaw to cut them out, using a steel cutting blade of course. Or rather, a cutting blade suitable for steel. This is one of the components cut out and filed to shape and I'm using my sheet metal bender that I made in another video to bend them up to the correct shape. That's the first bend complete. Because the two bends are close together I've used some clamps and a piece of steel to guide the bend in the second phase. So these are all the sheet metal components bent up and bolted into place. I'm using five, possibly six mil bolts, I can't quite remember, uh, and nylock nuts to hold them in place. Here's a closer look. The plywood arms will be profiled a bit when I've got towards the end of the project just to make them slightly more aerodynamic, although frankly it's not going to make a huge amount of difference. This is the top tilting arm, slightly different to the bottom ones in the sense that the axles for the pivot are offset from the plywood, just so that they clear the chassis. This is an alternative to the rod end bearings that I made. I've abandoned this part of the project uh, in favour of rod end bearings which are simpler but uh, I've just shown here where it would go if I was going down that route. And these are the various rod ends that I'm using for the tilting and steering mechanism. For the tilting components I've got left hand thread and right hand thread rod end bearings. These are the little steel tubes that fit into the oil like bushes, form part of the tilting mechanism, and this is me fitting the arm into place. This is the first time, so this is a trial fit, using 5mm bolts, possibly 6, I can't remember. And securing them into place using nylock nuts. So that 
that's the lower left tilting arm in place reasonably low friction and I'll be applying a bit of grease to the pivots in the end so this is how it all turned out looking reasonably good so far I think these videos are getting slightly out of sequence now because I've done a little bit more work but uh, this is just a catch up on how I got to this phase thanks for watching leave any comments or questions in the comments box down below and see you next time